In this video, we will solve a right triangle given a leg and the adjacent angle. We are given side A that measures 11.8 units and the adjacent angle B that measures 56 degrees. We will find angle A, side B and the hypotenuse C. To the left we have all the formulas we need to solve a right triangle and if you watched one of the previous videos then we went over these formulas a few times. Let's review them one more time before solving the given triangle. All these formulas refer to this right triangle with the sides A, B and the hypotenuse C and with the angles A, B and C. For the sides we use lowercase letters A, B and C and for the angles we use uppercase letters. Angle A is opposite of side A, angle B is opposite of side B and angle C is opposite of C. Below we have the trigonometric functions sine, cosine and tangent of angle A and sine, cosine and tangent of angle B. Sine of angle A is the opposite side A divided by hypotenuse C. Cosine of angle A is the adjacent side B divided by hypotenuse C and tangent of angle A is the opposite side A divided by the adjacent side B. If we work with angle B, then sine of B is the opposite side B divided by hypotenuse C Cosine of angle B is the adjacent side A divided by hypotenuse C and tangent of angle B is the opposite side B divided by the adjacent side A. In any of these functions we have three variables and that is one angle and two sides. So if we are given two of these variables then we can solve for the unknown variable. Below we have the Pythagorean theorem and that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and if we are given two of the sides in a right triangle we can find the missing side using one of these three formulas. The hypotenuse c equals square root of a squared plus b squared side a equals square root of c squared minus b squared and side b equals square root of c squared minus a squared. In the last two formulas angle A equals 90 degrees minus angle B and angle B equals 90 degrees minus angle A. And that is because in any triangle the sum of all three angles equals 180 degrees and because one of the angles is 90 degrees then the sum of these two angles is also 90 degrees. So if we are given angle B and we have to find angle A then we just subtract angle B from 90 degrees. And if we are given angle A and we have to find angle B then we subtract angle A from 90 degrees. Now let's solve the given triangle. Here we are given side A, angle B and we have to find sides B and C and angle A. There are multiple ways of starting this problem. For example, if we are given side A and angle B, we can use the cosine function to find the hypotenuse C. We could also use the tangent function to find side B. As you see, both of these functions contain angle B and side A. So we can replace angle B and side A and find either the hypotenuse C or side B. We can also start this problem by finding angle A and for this we will use the formula A equals 90 degrees minus angle B. I will start by finding angle A. We will write the formula A equals 90 degrees minus angle B then we will replace 90 degrees minus 56 degrees. Then angle A equals 34 degrees. Next I will use the tangent function to find side B. The formula is tangent of angle B equals side B over side A. We will replace angle B with 56 degrees and 
side A with 11.8. Now to solve for B, we will multiply both sides of this equation by 11.8. Then on the right side, 11.8 will cancel and B equals 11.8 times tangent of 56 degrees. Then we will use a calculator and we will get that B is approximately 17.5 units. So far we found angle A, side B and now we have to find side C. Once we have angle A and side B, we can use any of these trigonometric functions that contain side C. We could also use the Pythagorean theorem to find side C. I will go with the Pythagorean theorem and the formula is C equals square root of A squared plus B squared. In this formula we will replace A and B and we will have 11.8 squared plus 17.5 squared. Then we will use a calculator and we will get that C is approximately 21.1 units. Now here we have angle A, side B and side C. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.